Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Technical Test Analyst. We are in chapter 4 and continuing ahead with the same topic that is performance efficiency testing and this is the part 2 of this tutorial as in part 1 we understood what is performance testing all about and various types of performance testing like load, stress, scalability and a lot more about the same and also understood a little bit on the test planning of the performance testing how exactly it happens in this particular tutorial we'll be going beyond that the things which we could not cover in the part one is now will be covered in part two so in part two to begin with is the very first thing how do you derive the test cases or test specification for performance testing the specification of test for different performance test types such as load stress are based on the definition of operational profile now when generally you talk about operation profile it all it all means related to the environment and the scenario which you are trying to execute the scenario may invite the number of people what type of in transactions the user are performing what kind of response time we are expecting to have uh, based on that interaction with the application so thus the behavior will be measured so the specification unlike any other level will have more of kind of environment as well as the scenario what number of users are working which transaction they are working on and a lot of such things will be covered as a part of this specification the number of users per operation profile may be obtained by using monitoring tools which is also like from the point of like how the efficiency will be and uh, we will be defining the same thing these are especially important for specifying the operational profiles to be used as scalability testing and also determining how the outcomes will be based on number of people accessing any system at any point of time operational profiles are the basis for the number of uh, and the test types of test cases to be used to during performance testing so operational profiles are more like what kind of users and how exactly they'll be interacting with the product in what approach like sometime we may have a user who is just trying to book a flight and there might be user who is just trying to retrieve certain values or certain you know outputs based on the criteria and someone people just try to engage with some other activities and we just try to filter out those transactions in turn and call it as operational profiles coming up next is more on the quality sub characteristics of performance efficiency what are the further characteristics within the performance testing which can be evaluated as a part of uh, performance testing and we will be looking into more details of that so first of all the ISO 252510 classification allows you to talk about the sub details of that which includes the time behavior, resource utilization, and capacity. Time behavior is completely about the response time that if I send a particular request, then how much time does my server takes to respond to that query and uh, whether that was completed successfully or not, or whether you received a response saying that server not responding. The second thing is resource utilization, which means that what kind of uh, resource utilization is happening on the other part part of it so resource utilization also includes from the point of like CPU the memory which are like RAM and SSD and a lot of other things which says back in terms of like how efficient the system was and it makes convenient for the users to access those things and does not let basically the system crash and capacity is the maximum limit of any resource which you're trying to utilize so be it like the processor be it the CPU be it the RAM so if you have reached that optimum limit which is like based on the number of transactions being performed and now the system is ob you know obviously going to crash or whether it is still stable is what we will be testing so in detail we are just trying to understand first for the time behavior so time behavior is all is the ability to check that uh, based in different scenarios and operational profiles how does the system respond to your queries a user may perform any task and which will be sent to the server as a request and now server has a choice to check on the resource being utilized parallelly to see that how much time do I get to respond to that query that is request and return the result for that like response now the time taken to respond to this query is what we measure at response time and it might be critical and crucial to determine an effective response time which the client would have requested depending on different scenarios and different number of users and you need to 
meet that. And that is what generally you try to measure by conducting different number of users and different scenarios together in order to get the output. The second part of it is about resource utilization, which is to measure different parts of the resources uh, which as environment makes use of. Could be about the the CPU, RAM, processors, it, you know, when you talk about processor again, like whether it is dual core, quad core, octa core, then how many cores are being utilized at that point of time is to distribute the load. So yes, resource utilization plays a vital role in turn to give a good response time and also improvise the efficiency of the product to give better performance outputs. At last, definitely we're talking about the capacity because each system has certain capacity specific to each resource being utilized as a part of the system. So maybe probably RAM, you have one GB RAM, but the activities which are happening is reaching the capacity of one RAM, one GB RAM, then of course you need to have more uh, RAM being upgraded. Same way for the processor. You think that a particular activity which is being performed cannot be done with dual core, so you switch to quad core. Or quad core is reaching the optimum limits, like at least 80% of utilization is considered as like the optimum capacity. And then you think that this is not the environment or this is not the parameter which will be helpful in order to receive that response time. So one or the other way, each resource what you have in, in your environment or configuration plays a vital role to define the performance of an application. So if everything is up to the mark, your response time in turn will de uh, come down and will improve the efficiency of the product. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Uh, we just wanted to cover the remaining part of this module and I hope that was well covered here. If you have anything else beyond this, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.